All right. We have pulled Darth Vader out, and we're getting ready to run this audio dynamic. I haven't put this little dude in yet. I hooked it up when I first got it, and uh, she worked beautifully, but I wanted to put Darth Vader in this, so I pulled it back out at that time. And, uh, sounded amazing. But, now I'm going to put it back in. So, alright, we got our hot and our ground here. Put those in. We're going to start with the hot wire. Alright, here's our battery hot and our, and our ground. These are four gauge connections. They are kind of close together, kind of jumbled up. But, uh, oops, let me get those nice and snug. I don't want any strays. Okay, that's good. Let's tighten that down. the ground. Let's get it tightened down. Good. I said I had it hooked up a couple weeks ago so it had a little bit of a charge in it. And, uh, already had that took care of. Not any sparkage. Of course these little bitty amps don't have a big old bank of capacitors to charge it, but uh, still, they do have a little spark when you first uh, hook them up. Alright. We'll go with the uh, Swiss Army knife of uh, and the keys. It's probably going to be one of these two little bitty dudes right here. Oh, it is a little one. We'll start with the not as small one, the less small one. Let's see. That would be the one. The not quite as small one is the one. <laughs> Y'all love my terms. I don't use numbers, I just use ideas. I had this brown wire set up for a, a bigger receiver. Sometimes we run these big old 8 gauge 8 gauge remote receiver holes. So I had it kind of geared for that. So I'm going to reconfigure it for a normal common sense size remote gauge hole. Then we'll get our not as small Allen wrench. Get that sucker screwed in there. Like I said, my reasoning for doing the, the uh, power wires first is because they're the limiting factor on where I can locate everything. And uh, they're going to give me my position, help me figure out what I'm doing here. I might end up doing something like this. Uh, probably not because those wires won't reach. So we may have to go up by side down. Like that. There's a lot of thinking involved in, uh, in this stuff. You gotta 
got to figure out how everything is going to go based on the wiring, especially whenever you've got a layout like this where it's all uh, kind of exposed. Now we'll put in, there should be a yes, no, channel three and four switch, no, inputs one and two and three and four. Well, that's helpful because I may have to use a thingamajigger to uh, combine these channels. Alright, so we have doublers. That's what I meant by doublers, splitters. So you could get four inputs off of two. So essentially, assuming that this is one channel and this is the other, you have two of one channel and two of the other and uh, the way they bridge one and two bridge and three and four bridge so one and two is going to be the same splitter and three and four will be the same splitter so we're getting the same signal to 3 and 4 and the same signal to 1 and 2. That way they cooperate. Alright. I got sub turned completely off. Right now. See if I can make some kind of sense out of this mess. That was a full range signal with no EQ slope, no EQ, no crossovers, nothing, just full range all the way. Um, just for a test. Make sure everything's working properly. Let's see how we're going to do this. See this. Thing has all these plugs. I've been able to hide them before. Could do that, I guess. Something like this. All right, this is what I got. <laughs> it ain't beautiful, but it'll work. The signal wires are all underneath the amplifier speaker wires run out this way 
power wires go this way. These are the signal wires for the, uh, these are the uh, speaker wires for my subwoofers up here. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess, but it's also an organized mess. And I got my risers in over here, so we're good. We're going to call it good and going to work on tuning it up and seeing what I can get it to sound like. Never said you felt that way Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into the place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same Look at the enemy. Look at 